Once a 3D model is completed, one of the most common tasks is to then generate 2D drawings from it. This is something that NanoCAD Pro can do for you semi-automatically. To start with, place the 3D model in the top view. The easiest way to do that is to come over to the locator and click on the top view. Zoom out from the model by rolling the scroll wheel on your mouse to leave a little space around the 3D model where we'll be placing the 2D views. To create the first 2D view of the 3D model, come up to the 3D Tools tab, the Section panel, and then click on 2D View. NanoCAD prompts you to select objects. I tend to select all of them, so I'll enter in all, press Enter, and then press Enter a second time to end object selection. Notice that NanoCAD shows you a rectangular outline of the initial view. I like to put it here. And as you continue to move the cursor, notice that NanoCAD is going to produce other 2D views, but the problem is we can't see what's in them. So what I recommend at this point is to press Enter to end the view placement process. NanoCAD generates the first view. To create the other views, come back to the ribbon, click on 2D Projection. NanoCAD prompts you to select objects, select the one existing 2D view, now as you move the cursor, NanoCAD automatically generates the other views. There's the isometric one, and then move the cursor to place additional views, such as the top view and another side view. When done placing views, press Enter. Once the 2D views are in place, you can edit them to a certain extent. Select one, grab it by its grip, and then move it. Or else, select it, press Delete, and it gets erased along with the associated view. When you make a change in the 3D model, such as erasing this big gear, the 2D views are updated automatically. And then you can press Undo to bring them back. When you go into a shape view, put in a viewport, and once you do, model space appears. Double click inside of it and then use the zoom extends command to see it all. Once inside here, you can, just like before, move the 2D views. Another task NanoCAD Pro will do is cut sections of the views. You come up here to the ribbon, select 2D section, and then you're given a few prompts. First, select the projection through which you want the section cut. I'm going to select this one. And now it's asking for two points which define the cutting plane for this section. I'll click here and on the other side. Finally, NanoCAD asks you to place the section and I'll pop it right here. And you can see that it creates all the hatching for you too to show the areas that are solid. Back in model view, if you want to hide the various 2D views and sections, select one of them and then you'll find that it's placed on this particular layer. Freeze the layer, and they all disappear. Naturally, you can bring back the sections and views by thawing the layer. A second way to create section planes in NanoCAD is with the Section Plane command. But it has a little twist that I'll show you shortly. Click on the button, and then it prompts you to select a face or a point. The easiest is to select a face, and the face becomes the cutting plane. NanoCAD starts to produce cross-sections along that cutting plane. I'm going to switch to the top view to make it easier to place them. One section view, and then as I move the cursor around, there's an isometric side view. And when you have sufficient views, press Enter to end the command. I'm going to undo this command to show you the real power of the section plane command. So once again, I'll start it, choose this plane here, but then press enter to end the command. With the section plane in place, I select it and then go into the properties panel. Here is a property called is live and I will change it to yes. And what it does is it gives you an interactive section plane capability. Turning is live back to no turns off the section plane. The section plane is truly one-dimensional. In fact, you can move it and resize it. And it has no impact on the section that you're viewing. 
when you click on this arrow in the center, the section plane flips. So that when we look at it from underneath, you see that the, the bottom part has been cut off. Let me flip the cutting plane over. Once again, selecting the section plane, going into Properties, change the type from Plane to Boundary. And this causes NanoCAD to slice the object in two dimensions. Repeating this, we now change it to a volume section plane, which means it is cut in all three directions. Let me change the side cutting plane, and now you can see that the 3D model is cut in the X, Y, and Z directions.